Hey guys, today's video will be about the John Mayer version of the Bill Withers song Ain't No Sunshine. You might know the Crossroads version, which is very popular, but we will check out some more versions in which you can pick up variations on the rhythm playing and a few very cool lick ideas. So let's check it out. Alright, now he plays his version in the key of G minor, so make sure you got the G minor pentatonic on your hands. And he starts off the riff by just muting the E string and sliding down. Then he plays the root note here with his thumb, followed by the third fret of the D string, and back. Then this is the third fret on B string and the E string. Followed by the 6th fret of a B string and the 3rd fret of a B string. Then he slaps the strings and it rakes into a hammer on on the E string. It sounds like this. You gotta listen close to the recording, but it's definitely there. Followed by the 3rd fret of a D string and 5th fret on the E string. Sorry. Then followed by the 5th fret of a G string and the 3rd fret of a G string. Following that, he hammers on again on the A string from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret. Followed by the 3rd fret of a D string and 5th fret of a A string. Then the 3rd fret of a D string and the root note here of the 5th fret. Then he places his thumb again, the low root note, slaps and plays the hammer over a double stop here at the E and B string. Then he plays the third fret with his pinky at the B string and bars the uh, third fret on the G and the D string. Kinda like this. Now following that, he slaps the strings. Mutes the A string and picks up the thumb, like this. And then plays the third string of a D string and G string. This is where we bow with our index finger and play with our pinky with sixth fret. We do this three times in a row. Following that, we play the second string at the D string, or the second fret of a D string the 3rd fret of a G string and the 4th fret of a, a B string and slide one fret further. Kinda like this. Followed up by the 3rd uh, fret here of the E string and the 6th fret of the E string. And then the root note again. Following with that, he plays the 5th fret of a B string, followed by a 6th fret, then the 5th fret of a B string and the 3rd fret of a G string, slides into the double stop here, the 6th and the 7th fret of a G and B string, and when he rakes with his index finger to a G string, slides to the 5th fret and pulls off to the 3rd fret. Kinda like this. Again, he plays the 5th fret of a G string, followed by the root note of a D string, followed by the 3rd fret of a G string, and then a slight bend of a 3rd fret of a D string, and then a hammer on and pull off from a 5th fret of a D string to a 3rd fret and back. Now, all in all, For this live version he plays two variations on the rhythm and it starts out just like in the intro with a 3rd fret here of the E string followed by the double stop and the 6th fret and the 3rd fret of the B string. Then the 
then we go on to the fifth fret of the E string, followed by the fifth fret of the A string and the eighth fret of the A string. Then the bar, we bar the D and the G string, get the fifth fret, hammer on onto the seventh fret, and pull off. And then play at last the eighth fret here, the A string. The next variation starts also out with a root note, then a slap, and again the root note. Followed by the fifth fret of the E string, the fifth fret of the A string, and the eighth fret of the A string. Sorry. And now this is basically almost the same, but he does uh, less hammer ons and pull offs. He just picks through. Just the last one is a pull off. Like this. Alright, this is a variation which is just a little bit different, it's not difficult. It sounds like this. It's a lot more syncopated. And basically, there's no explanation needed. Just listen and feel. It's kind of dragging a bit. Alright, another variation sounds like this. He's using that for the second uh, time he goes into the riff. It sounds kind of like a musical hiccup, I would say. Kind of like this. For the turnaround, he plays the uh, root note here at the 10th fret with a thump of the 5th chord. That's the uh, D minor in this case. Followed by the 10th fret of the D string, the G string and the B string. Then a hammer on from the 10th fret to the 12th fret at the A string. Followed by the 10th fret of the D string and the G string. Followed again by the 12th fret of the A string. Then again the bar and a hammer on pull off to a 12th fret and back. Followed by the 12th fret of the A string and the 10th fret of the A string. Kind of like this. Then he follows this up with a C minor chord. Plays the root note with his thumb at the 8th fret. Then plays the 8th fret of B string. Followed by the 10th fret of G string and the 10th fret of the 8th string. Then again the 8th string. Uh, the 8th fret, sorry. Then he plays his double stop here at the 7th fret of a G string and the 8th fret of a G string. Slaps and slides down from the 10th fret. And then he goes to the main riff. Alright, now that leg he starts out to have a 15th fret at a B string. Then he bends the 18th fret just a little bit. Then plays the 15th fret of the E string. Followed by the 18th fret of a B string. Then, just very slowly, he bends up the 18th fret of the E string. Followed by the root note again. Then, two quick slides from the 18th fret to the 17th fret. Followed by the 15th fret of a G string and the 17th fret of a D string. And then a quick hammer, a uh, quick, sorry, bend up at the 17th fret, one, one full step. And then a gradually and very slow bend up at the 15th fret of G string. Sorry. 
kind of like this. Alright, now this lick he starts out at the G string of a 19th fret, followed by the 18th fret and the 20th fret of a B string, then the 17th and the 18th at the E string. Then he bends up the 20th fret one full step, back down, walks down, and the last note he plays he is for 18th fret of B string and he gives that one a good vibrato. Sorry. Kinda like this. Now he follows this up with the 19th fret again of the G string. Followed by the 18th fret and the 20th fret of a B string. Followed by a full step bend up at the 20th fret of B string. Followed by the 18th fret, the 20th fret and the 18th fret then again. Then a quick slide down from the 18th fret to the 17th fret of G string. Followed by the 15th fret of a G string and two quick pull-ups at the 17th fret. Sorry, he actually doesn't play the root note. Kinda like this. Alright, now he starts out that leg with a double bend up at the 8th fret, at the E string and B string. That means you have to grab both strings with your ring finger. Then he comes halfway down, kind of. Plays the second, uh, sixth fret here, the E string and the B string. Followed by root note. Then a slide down from a seventh, seventh fret and uh, on the G string to a fifth fret. Followed by a third fret of a G string and a fifth fret of a D string. Kind of like this. Followed by the hammer on at the third fret to the fifth fret on, G, on the G string. Then the third fret of the B string. Then back. And then the root note of the D string. Kind of like this. Then a quick slide in and slide out from 5th fret of a G string to a 6th fret followed by a 3rd fret of a G string then he goes down the pentatonic scale all, all the way to 5th fret here by A string and then with his index finger he slides into the 3rd uh, fret from a 4th fret of A string then the last note C plays is for 6th fret here of E string and the 3rd fret of E string. This, uh, this is what it sounds like fast. And then he goes back into the main riff. Alright, now this lick he starts out with playing the root note here, the B string, at the 6th fret, sorry, the 8th fret twice. Then with his index, uh, sorry, with his middle finger, he bends up the 7th uh, fret of the E string to the 8th fret. And then slides down from the 7th fret on the G string to the 5th fret, plays the 3rd fret and gives this a light bend. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please check out the Patreon page where you can find tabs for this video. Um, if you did enjoy the lesson, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye bye.